to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today's video, I'm kind of thinking of doing like a day at the yard. Now I have horses. Not just one horse, I now have two. And if you haven't seen that video, do make sure you go and check out because I've recently bought myself a new horse. So this is Trudy's second or third full day at the yard as my new horse um, and this morning I've just had a text saying that she's gone out in the field and she's going to be out there for a few hours so I thought that we would obviously go and see her in her field so her plan at the moment just like a little truly update is she obviously has been there two or three days what day is it it's Sunday today and picked up on Thursday so Friday Saturday yeah it's kind of like her third full day today um, she had her vaccinations on Friday she has kind of been quarantining for the last couple of days since moving to Blackwater so today she's gone out in a field on her own and she's going to be doing that for the next couple of days while while she settles and then we're going to slowly introduce her to her like new besties in the field so yeah at the beginning of this vlog i don't know why i'm losing my voice today so yeah i thought we'd start this video by going and seeing her in the field and just seeing how she's settling i'm going to take my camera as well and try and get some nice photos of her out in her field um and then i'm going to ride ringo so we can do like a bit of a tack up and ride um i haven't got anybody to film me riding today actually um so i might take my gopro but i feel like my gopro like chest set thing is in my other car which I haven't got until tomorrow. So if I can GoPro it, I'll GoPro it. If I can't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, we're gonna see Ringo as well in this vlog. Um, and it's just gonna be like a day at the horses. Horses, <laughs> I got horses, I actually can't believe it. So um, I'm all dressed and ready for the day. Um, should I take you through my outfit? Do you guys like seeing my outfit? I'm gonna take you through my outfit. If you don't like seeing my outfit, just let me know and I won't show you my outfit again. <laughs> and then after that, we're off to the yard, but I'll probably say that again in a second anyway, because I like to ramble. <laughs> I bring you out into this mirror today. I have the Watermelon Lemire hoodie on, and then underneath here, an Equa L base layer on underneath, which you'll probably see later on once I get hot and start to strip. Um, but this is sleeveless because it is a very sunny day outside. And then I have a Fairfax and Favour belt on, and Maximilian breeches, and we are all good to go. God knows what I look like, so I can't actually see myself because it's very bright, but it's blue and windy. I don't even look. like the spring weather ever going to come because it's um it's kind of it keeps teasing us doesn't it it's cold even had to put like an extra fleece on walking around like a cameraman this morning as well um i can't see myself do i look okay i don't care to be fair <laughs> um so anyway i'm on my way down hopefully you can hear me above the wind and my clumpy crocs on the gravel um i'm on my way down the field I'm trying to say, maybe I should talk a bit louder, is I'm on my way down to the field and they're basically next to each other. It's like so exciting. So she's in the field and she's so cute. So I'll show you guys her and then I'm going to take some photos. But I'll turn you around just so you can see kind of what I'm on. So she's there. Didn't wear this little white suit. Is Hi, baby. Ringo's down there, so there's like a little, little field in between him and his wife. <laughs> Good day. Okay, also, just to clarify some things, actually, I might be able to put you up on here, actually. Let's see if we can. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me, though, because it's windy. So, about her having babies and things like that. And there was a comment the other day saying, is that the only reason you bought her? No. <laughs> Um, she is probably not going to be having any babies for years and years and years, maybe even 10 years. Um, but for me, you know, one of the reasonings was, was that one day, you know, maybe she can have one of Ringo's babies. Now, Ringo's 15 at the moment, so, you know, five years' time, I, I mean, it depends kind of how he goes. But, you know, five years' time, maybe less, maybe more, he's going to be retired from, like, competing and, like, riding, riding. 
Hi guys, I'm actually having to come in with a voiceover here because the wind, you literally couldn't hear a single thing I was saying. So basically what I'm saying here is that, you know, when Ringo's time basically is to retire, she's going to be in full work. So I'm going to want another ridden horse to move onto while he enjoys his time in the field and hacking and things like that. So she's probably, if she is going to have a baby with him, she's probably not going to have a baby for like 10 years, if not more. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is getting his, you know, particles, whatever, frozen um, so that, you know, I, I just think as well, you know, he's such an amazing horse and his personality is so amazing. It would be such a shame to waste it um, and to not have, you know, a part of Ringo in the future. So whether it's her or whether I buy a broodmare in a few years time when he is retired um, and keep truly as a ridden horse um, with a potential view to have babies like in the future future when she's a lot older um, is another kind of option. Um, but whatever happens, I'm going to have a Ringo baby, whether it's in the near future or in the later future with truly or with another broodmare at some point um, because my mum has land so I can buy a broodmare that's already living in a field and has already had babies and has maybe even retired herself um, and have babies that way for a, you know for the nearer future um, but one day truly we'll be having a Ringo baby um, but just not for a while so please don't panic um, I haven't just bought her for babies I've bought her for many reasons to be my you know future riding horse as well as you know a future mother to <laughs> to my gorgeous stallion <laughs> start you know kind of breeding a couple of foals with him and her um while well, this one's in work and not <laughs> not having babies one day have a baby one day you are a baby so yes to put all of so yes, put that kind of comment to bed she's not just been bought for a baby she has been bought um to be loved and to be ridden and to stay here forever i can't ever see her unless she turns out to be an absolute nutcase in my budget, um, which hopefully she won't be she just seems so sweet and quiet so um I feel like that looks really dark, or is it just because I can't see? So, I've just taken loads of amazing pics of her. Oh my god, she is beautiful. Oh my goodness me, I actually can't wait now to get home and edit all the reels up and all the pictures up. I'm just so obsessed with her, and she's so cuddly. And like, I was kind of like not trying to wind her up to make a trot, but like just trying to make her have like a little trot around for some photos, and she's just bomb proof. I was like, I had like a little bit of a clap, and I put some like stallion noises on on YouTube, and she pricks her ears, um, but nothing. The only thing that made her trot was her friend that she's going to be going out in the field with, Frappe. Um, was then turned out where she was out so they're like opposite each other and they're both the same age I think Frappe's like a couple of months younger um, and so they were just having like a little talk over the fence and a little trot around saying oh hello friend um, so I had a couple of little pictures when she was trotting around that's the only time she actually trotted she um, isn't obviously one to easily wind up which is a good sign she's so quiet out there and at one point I was turning around like covering my um, camera thing so I could have a look at some of the photos and it had like heavy breathing behind me and she had her nose on my head I'm just so in love so anyway I thought I'm not going to bring them in yet because I'm going to go back up the top and like kind of get all my stuff organized I literally just got out the car and grabbed my camera and walked down to her so I'm not going to get him in yet either I'll get all the steps in today walking all the way down here but I can say a little hello and play with Ringo. Got so much grass. This is Ringo's field. It's absolutely humongous. Out of everyone. <laughs> Shot course he has. Ringo. And he's having a good munch. There we go. There she is. She loves her food. Whenever I see her, she's munching. Hello. You coming over? You're not coming in yet. Oh, you got itch. Oh, it's on route. Hey, darling. You probably smell like a woman. You always smell like a woman. Yeah. Oh, you ready to come in? Okay, oh, I think I don't want to bring you in. Two baby mares with a camera on my neck. Actually, I've got both my cameras. That's the reason why. I'm going to go and put them all away. Yeah, I'm going to put the big one away so then at least what little one's safe. Hey? Oh no, are you going to be sad? Are you going to be sad, my little man? I love you. Can I smell it, woman? Not really, not interested. You prefer the boys, really. Hey, I've been talking to a gelding. You'd be loving me right now. Yeah. Oh, little man. Little man. You're so pretty. You're the most beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not coming in for a minute. You know, it's also, guys, if you wonder why he's got, like, white rug, and then black bits. Um, 
I'm hope I'm basically just so I know that he definitely will not itch this year um, because his mane is basically grown back. We're in a sweet itch rug for prevention. He's going to be in this all summer. It's super nice and lightweight. It's actually from Shires. It's really lovely. Um, and then I'm basically not necessarily drowning this area in products, but basically. So obviously it's wet. So when he's rolling, this is obviously clinging to all the mud. So that is why we've just got one black black area on his rug. Um, I say black, very dark brown and muddy looking. Hey. I'm sorry, you're not coming in for a minute. Ah, I'm being kissed now. Oh. Are you going to eat the gate and temper? Hey, don't you bite my don't you bite my coat because my skin's under there. Yes, if you do bite my coat, just be careful with which bit you're biting. You're just giving me a kiss, so okay. That's fine. No, you are eating it. You're not to eat it. No, it's very naughty. Oh, Tinker Bear, what you doing? Actually, no, you can't eat my hand any time tomorrow. I was going to say it's clean, but it's going to be cleaner tomorrow. <laughs> you watch where you're biting on that coat. You'd bite it carefully. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's enough yawning near my head, Tinker. He doesn't bite, but he, he'll, he will, like, suck my, um, there we go, suck my coat. Um, but obviously, I haven't got many layers on today, so it's a bit of a just very, very close contact to my skin. He's not biting me, he just likes, likes to suck on things. Hi guys, we're here again. And I'm back down the field to go and get back. So I actually bought Truly in. So back to a voice over here because the wind. <laughs> so I'm basically here just explaining about bringing Truly in. So I brought Truly in on my own and she was honestly an angel. She was literally like leading a dog in up until we hit the stable block. And oh my goodness me, she went nuts. Well, she kind of didn't, but you know, like when you can feel a horse is about to blow up um, and I could basically feel her about to blow up on the stable yard. I managed to literally like run her into the stable and it took all of my strength <laughs> for me to get out without her getting out over the top of me um so yes that was that was a little bit of a performance i must admit it took me like 10 minutes to try and get the head collar off over the stable door because there was no way i was going back in that stable <laughs> she went cray cray <laughs> um so yeah i took the, took the head collar off over the stable door um she'll be fine it's just where she hasn't really ever been stabled before she's never not been in a herd um so she'll just be getting used to it she is going into a herd um not like a herd herd but you know with a couple of people at some point but it, to be honest it's going to be good for her because you know when she's being brought in for work and stuff she's going to be on her own and not in a field with other horses um you know obviously to protect her legs and protect her and whatever when she's getting ready to be ridden God, i'm out of breath walking down here um so yeah, she needs to kind of get used to it. She's never really, you know, been stable before. I think that was like her second time ever in a lorry, you know, since she was bought as a baby baby the other day as well. Um, so it's all just going to take time because she is she is only a bubber and she is such a good girl. She just, um, when she stresses, she stresses. Oh my God. <laughs> I was just, I was like, oh my God, get me out. Dingo, your wife's a diva. Little Holly that works here. She was like, maybe we should call her Diva the D. <laughs> diva Diva. Um... I'm going to have a very much less eventful time, well hopefully anyway, um, bringing Dingo in. <laughs> I was definitely not going to film me bringing her in. I mean, my god. She, well, she was absolutely fine. It, I was like, oh my goodness, I've got another one that's amazing to bring in. So I'm, like, it's like, oh, I'm like holding you, which is probably why you're all over the show right now. Um, we're eating our, eating our rope just for a change. Um, do this up. They're nice. Can lead yourself in? On. Okay. Yeah? Oh, you're eating it. Oh, that looks nice. Yummy, is it? You're really very strange. Come on then. I'm walking that loop actually. Oh, have you got the, the big end? Hey, is that like the crunchy bit? <laughs> you are so strange. No yeah, man, it's sunny, we're gonna give ride. Oh, I'm very annoyed. So, not very annoyed, I'm really not very annoyed. Um, annoyed at myself is the, the correct word to put in that sentence. I don't know what I'm about. Um, because there's no one here today, and the arena's basically clear, and I could have bought my pivot, 
with me. Um, but I was thinking, it's Sunday, it's lovely weather, everyone's going to be here and riding, and um, there's no point in even bringing it because basically with the pivot it follows whichever horse goes past it last round. So, you know, you end up literally with like a minute, <laughs> a minute's worth of footage. So there's like no point. Oh, stopping the grass. Actually, let's not do that because that's a bit of a bad habit. Come here. Good boy. Um, so <laughs> A little munch, a little snack on route. He never usually does that. Um, I think it was just a very nice green looking bit of, bit of juicy grass there. Um, oh my god, I nearly threw you. Um, so, what am I about? Yeah, so basically, um, I could have filmed myself riding today. Gutted. Um, it would have made a, would have made like a nice bit to this video, but never mind. What I will do is I will kind of film myself I'm talking. I feel myself um, like talking from above, I think. You can see me tuck him up in a second. I'm going to give him a good brush. And a good groom, can't we, baby? Hey, you're very chill. Do you want the rope? Come on, then. This is Ringo. Oh, you've let go of it now. Let's have it again, then. Catch it. Oh, I didn't mean to get your eye. Come on. No, forward a bit now. Oh, darling. Hey, you want it again? No. He's like, I don't know if I do. Or if I don't. Come on, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Give him one. Is he handsome? Is he handsome? <laughs> Come on. Keep it moving. Handsome friend. <laughs> oh, Jingo Bear. Come on. Off we go, we'll get you tucked up. Is it such a nice day? We're not going to do too long because I think we're going to get quite hot today because you've still got a bit of winter coat that hasn't come out. Turn you around again, there we go. So yeah, that is the plan of today. Very chilled, I've been here for a while already, but it's such nice weather. Um, excuse me. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? So yeah, we're going to ride. I think it's good. I'm very hot because it was windy and the border earlier. I've got all these letters on that I now need to take off because I've done like a very long walk. And I now need a break, basically. Oh dear. Oh, I'm not with you. Are you noisy today? Well, it's spring. That's why we're in here. It's just noisy. He does nothing, nothing with it. It's an unreasonable leader. Oh dear. chill out. Yeah, you do. Oh. Yeah, I think she will as well. Oh. So I was just walking up with, I was just walking up with Ringo. Oh, it got a bit dark until the light sorts itself out. And um, walking up towards her with Ringo and she's half up over the top and has got the um, guard off. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, what do I do in this situation? Holding future husband and stallion while she's up over the top of the stable. So I just stopped and everyone was laughing because I just stopped like, like a deer in headlights, like, um... <laughs> anyway, we're back. Like either a donkey in a sleeve or she's stressing at the moment, but she's just not used to being in. Oh, there's him in, he's an angel. Um, thank goodness I've got one that's, <laughs> one that's calm. Um, yeah. Darling, you nearly met your wife early. You nearly ended up with babies. Jesus, I don't know what I'd have done in that situation. <laughs> oh, if she came out up over the top of the stable, what, what do you do when you're holding a stallion literally like 10 metres away? <sighs> Stress. Right. I'll be up here now. It's such a nice day, look. You can have a full, oh, full view of the arena. The windows are all open. It is so nice. So, let's get over here.
are expensive, aren't they? This is supposed to be um, like really long lasting, which I think is neat, etc. I'm thinking of turning it round and just working up the top here so then you can kind of see me ride. I'm just not sure how, I've got 61%. My camera then might die and this might be like the last part of this vlog, but then at least there's some ridden footage. So I think I'm going to risk it. I think we're going to turn you around and then get some ridden here. I'm going to try it. We're going to try it. We'll give it a go. He's such a donkey. Look at him. He's just just stood there now waiting to go, not touching his hay net, he's just, he's chilling. You ready? You see me? <laughs> right guys, I'm going to put my hat on and I'm going to turn you around and start it now. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be able to see some of the ridden stuff warm up and hopefully it will last until we get to like the more nitty gritty side of it. And I'll just put you guys to some music. guys I'm back I've got, I've got 10% so I'm hoping I did get some um, decent content riding after all that this is stressy it's kind of on and off really stressy today aren't you darling just come over here I think I said that earlier actually and kind of almost half taken the bars down and again they're on the wrong again um, but I just think if we were to shut her in with the top door I think she'd just completely freak so there's not really much we can do 
So yeah, she's just, she's really stressy, but she's not stressy about noises or anything like that. She's just stressing for, for no reason. It's when horses go by or not go by. So um, I think it's just, she's just used to being with all of her friends, isn't she? And she's not been stabled before properly. Like she's been in a stable, but not like stable, stabled, I don't think. So she's just getting used to it. Um, and then in two days time, she's going out with friends and being introduced to friends, aren't you darling? Hey. And then you'll be with friends for a few, few three years, a year and a half, two years. And then you got to be solo again. Yeah. You've got to get used to it. Tony, baby, you're so beautiful. You're just very stressy. You oh, are very stressy, my little lamb. You want more hay? Oh, darling. Hey. We need a little bit of a chill out. Yeah, we do. You're so sweet. You are. Yeah, so she's either like sleepy and <laughs> probably sleepy from being so stressed and super calm and chilled to, um, being a little bit stressy, but she'll be fine. She'll settle in this time next week. She'll be absolutely fine. She's just getting used to it, aren't you? And there's a lot going on all the time, isn't there? They're very busy here. Yes, and everyone's always doing something. Yeah. You're a good girl. And on that note, guys, I'm going to finish this video. It's typical now there's no wind, now that I come to finish the vlog. So I'm hoping you guys could have heard me throughout. I don't know why I look like either. I probably got mascara down my eyes because my eye was watering through the wind. Hey, princess pony. You're going to calm down now. Well, let's not knock me out, actually. I like my teeth. You can do that when you're not stressing. But when you're stressing, I like my teeth in my face. Yeah, you darling girl. So yeah, I'm going to sit with her for a little bit until she chills out and then I'm going to get home So I've just realised it's 3 o'clock and I haven't actually eaten yet today. I've been here so early because I wanted to get some photos of her in the field. And then I've just been gossiping and walking and chilling and riding and taking a nice day here because the weather's lovely and it's so lovely here. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go home and have food. <laughs> so anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.